Now, there's always references to various different people and characters and that, and you'll see this. There's actually a statue here of James Joyce. Now, we're stopping the lights, but when we go by the lights, you might see James Joyce, and he's just sort of, he's leaning over on the stick, and he's got his, he's got his hat on, and, um, uh, of course, James Joyce is uh, famous in Dublin li literature, and, of course, his famous book was Ulysses, and it's the story of one man who goes out around the city of Dublin on the 16th of June in the early 1900s, and to replicate, uh, people people enjoy that and enjoy reading about um, Dublin and about Dublin in a different era and just James Joyce. Uh, so they they dress up uh, in the in the clothes of the day and they go out around Dublin and to, to celebrate that and to commemorate that. Various different places where the famous Leopold Bloom would have actually stopped off, and they have little plaques outside the different places. So uh, and then there's uh, there's readings and that sort of thing that go on. So um, so for a small uh, city, we've got a lot of writers and won Nobel prizes for literature and just big writing and theatre tradition uh, in Dublin. The theatre festival is always really well attended. We've got about 14 theatres in Dublin and um, there's always a, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on and music and that as well. So you will notice probably that a lot of uh, names, uh, Irish names, they start with O or they start with Mac. You've got say O'Connell, then McCarthy, uh, all that sort of stuff. So O means the family, the clan or the tribe of. Because ever before, you know, ever before the Vikings and the uh, the Anglo-Normans and the English and, and all that before, all before they came in, uh, well, Ireland was divided up into types of tribes or kingdoms. And so the O is the family, uh, the, uh, the clan or the tribe of, and Mock, uh, M-A-C, is the Irish uh, for son, son of. Um, so we're, we're crossing over now, over to the other side, and the first thing you'll see when we go over here is Trinity College. And Trinity College is the oldest university in Ireland. Uh, one of the most prestigious, a little bit like Oxford and Cambridge, and was actually uh, built in 1592, 1592 by Queen Elizabeth. But she didn't want her subjects and their and their their children going off and being subjected to the popery of different places in Europe, so decided that it should be um, a, a university.